Thank you very much. Great introduction. And uh, I'm very happy to be here to talk on the design concept for uh, precast and pressurized concrete structure components. This is uh, one of the, the uh, research conducted by my former student, uh, Ikuta san. She's now an assistant professor on the uh, Akashi Kosen. So today, uh, I'm talking about the precast and pressurized concrete members, but uh, mainly focus on the bridge column. ABC is uh, used for the time for the, the accelerated uh, bridge or building construction. Uh, this is uh, one of the, the target for the new bridges, but also the, the kind of the replacement due to the deterioration, like a corrosion or alkalic reaction in Japan. And also the seismic damage is also a target to replacement. So this uh, precast is uh, one of the ta uh, very, very benefit uh, uh, strategy for the replacement and also the new bridges. However, the, there are many the, the disadvantages, including the precast casting place the joint or precast, precast concrete members. So we need to focus on the behavior of the total including the, this kind of the joint. Technical committee in JCI, Japan Concrete Institute, is established for the technical committee on the design concept of precast pressurized concrete structure components, including the uh, connection that is chaired by myself and the work for two years. The, the target is the, not only the experiment, but also the, the survey on the domestic um, uh, international design code and the standards that is summarized in the report. And also the evaluation method that is used for the design uh, for the precast, non pressurized this is a reinforced concrete members and also precast pressurized concrete members. And sometimes this uh, joint is used for the uh, seismic retrofitting. So our target is this uh, structure survey for the uh, uh, code and design, and also the new uh, components that is the developing in the research or research centers for the building and bridges. And also we are target for the practical design to survey for the what is the, what, uh, why they use or apply the precast uh, technology in the structure. And our target is the uh, joint. So we can see that this is a kind of the key in the bridge gutters. And uh, we need to consider about not only the, this portion of connection, but also the integrated member with the connection. So this is a, one of the target for the, not only the portion of joint, but also the structural components, including the joint. And the several uh, stress transfer mechanism is considered friction, shear friction, double action, and shear key. However, in Japan, the bridge is considered not only the shear key, so other is not considered. So this is a quite different from the bridge side and the building side, even if in same in Japan. And that this is a one of the example to use the precast uh, components for the railway viaduct uh, without any pressurizing. So we consider about the, the behavior with the monotonic uh, bridge column and also precast and with a different height of the joint. That is very similar the behavior. So we apply the, this technology for the actual structure with connection with the uh, uh, reinforcing bars that is using for seas and grouted. This is very uh, the short presentation about uh, my the, uh, committee report, but it's, that is in also including the case study. Of course, these are information is based on the report. So I don't know the they are uh, hidden of the real or actual uh, reason to use the precast, but uh, mainly for the shortening of the construction period and the labor saving and uh, that the results reduce the cost and also focus on the improvement in the quality. And the serviceability, safety, or durability is, is not focused on in the report for the building, mainly. However, this is very interesting. The, of course, the, we are considered about the shortening and the labor saving for the cost re reduction and also improvement quality. However, the, in the bridge side, 
uh, a lot of focus is on the durability. So railway viaduct and uh, the highway bridges are uh, mentioned about durability. And also that they are focused on the weight reduction to reduce the cross section and also the open the traffic to uh, during the construction. So case study brings out uh, a lot of lessons on the, the precast or precast components. High rise residential building is many cases in Japan. And also this is a focus on the reduction of cost, including the reduced uh, construction period. And also the, the, the stadium is one of the target to use uh, this technology to not only the main gutter, but also the foundation or large structural components. A mixed use office uh, building is also used this technology. And uh, in civil engineering, that, this is very brand new uh, part, uh, part to use the uh, precast for the whole of the structure, but the uh, bridge garden that we use. Uh, railway, biaduct, uh, 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 sealed tunnels, and the energy tank is uh, one of the target to use uh, this kind of the technology. So here is a summary. And uh, this report, unfortunately, all of the uh, in written in Japanese, so we cannot, uh, you cannot see the, any the contents, but uh, you can download the very, very dense uh, abstract for this uh, report in the, uh, English. So please download this uh, report. Uh, next topic is uh, my research, uh, precast concrete bridge column. That is uh, not new uh, issue or uh, topic because uh, in first presentation, Professor Priestley is uh, here, here, arrived here, but uh, this presentation is also covered by him. Uh, this report is uh, 2001, and uh, he is the, uh, uh, developed for not only the precast components, but also the steel jack uh, focused on the bottom hinge. And also the unbonded uh, PC bar is used. This is a detail for the uh, needed to consider about not only the how make a pressurizing force apply, and but also the, this hinge is very important. So our target is also same as him and the energy dispersion capacity of PC column, but uh, unfortunately uh, we do not do the, this kind of full size, small size experiment as conducted. So objective of research is focus on the uh, comparison between monothonic column and also the precast PC column for energy dispersion capacity, residential, uh, no, sorry, residual displacement, and also damage evaluation based on the image. I cannot uh, show the, all of the, the, the specimen here, but uh, this is a, one of the summary of the uh, target specimen. Uh, these are monotonic ones, so and considering about without any uh, connection between the two components of the column and the bottom footing. But this connection is considered someone is disconnected by the concrete and also the reinforcement too. So we focus on the layout of the longitudinal reinforcement and uh, uh, also the, uh, the right layout of the uh, steel bars or steel strands, sorry. And the connection is the uh, consider at the bottom of here from the top of the footing five uh, centimeters of uh, two uh, inches, right? Around two inches here, and also the a little bit higher location like this here. And uh, here, uh, here is uh, the dimension. PC bar is used for the that is strand, and also the PC bar is also used. And the log reinforcement is very small. D ten is a uh, uh, number of uh, I think the four or five. And the precedence force is not so large because of the limit of the deformation capacity. So we are set at four megapascal in pressurizing force. Here is the, the Photoshop photo of the preparation of specimen reinforcement layout and the concrete. If the, we consider about the precast, two components are connected to each other. Then the processing force is applied at top of the pier. So bottom of the column is a uh, uh, anchorage. So this is a one of the, uh, the setup for the specimen. For the loading test, we consider about uh, the cycle of loading uh, the lateral displacement. 
uh, applied for the, using the 300 kilonewton capacity actuator like this. And uh, this is a very unique that uh, the load for force is applied not only the, this surface, but also that this here. So pin hinge can be considered at the top of the pier. The other uh, target is a measurement. The, of course, the we uh, consider about the crack width or a crack distribution, and also the image analysis is conducted for the the how much crack up, uh, appeared in the surface of the concrete p, uh, column. Here's one of the example of the lateral force drift angle relationship. Here is a monotonic. So even if the the monotonic case we can see the very small amount of the residual displacement due to the press resting force. However, this connection DC is going to the, or going to the origin, so almost zero residual displacement. However, also reduce the energy dissipation capacity, I mean the, the energy during the hysteresis. So we are now the consider about how much reinforcement is applied to the uh, getting the large energy dissipation. Uh, this is a, one of the, the, the small amount of reinforcement uh, getting large. So this kind of the energy energy dissipation is uh, evaluated, but not only the layout of the pressure bars PC bars, but also the reinforcement how this is connected. So we also consider about energy dissipation for each step. For example, this is a monosonic load, load uh, displacement relationship to pick up one cycle like this. So we uh, select uh, the, the energy dissipation by calculating the, the cross-sectional area surrounding the load displacement curve. This is one of the example for 8% or uh, uh, 60 millimeters lateral displacement. As we can see, the, or quantitatively, a uh, monosonic case has a large uh, amount of the energy dissipated, but uh, the, the PC components is going to almost half in our case. So this is a uh, disadvantage, but we need to consider about how much reduce that. Another one is the, the residual displacement. That is uh, defined as the displacement at a zero lateral force. So we can see that this part is residual displacement. Going to the very nice the characteristic, the displacement is getting a lot smaller as compared with the uh, monotonic. This is, a, in, in, even if the monotonic, this is a very small amount of residual displacement as compared with the non press resting reinforced concrete column. But uh, this is one of the, our results. Another target is the how much distribute the crack. So this is a going to the damage evaluation during the cycles. And uh, we use the digital camera, DIC, for the evaluate the crack distribution, not only the, this surface, but also the others. So we can uh, compare with the visual inspection and the other measurement of the gap of the displacement gap of the crack opening and this one. And the characteristic of the, the displacement uh, here is the, we can see that uh, as compared with the monotonic and precast component, uh, the distribution of later, uh, lateral crack, bending crack is like here. Here is a bottom or a boundary between the footing and columns. So the some concentration is occurred even if the monotonic case. However, the distribution of bending crack is the distribution is almost similar of the height of the column. So we can see that the crack is the distributed throughout the column. However, the precast component, even if the small amount of the residual displacement, crack is localized at the bottom of the pier or the joint between the footing and the column. So we, we can use the, these, the information, not only to evaluate the distribution of crack, but also the crack with this evalu evaluation and uh, compare with the visual ins uh, inspection. And uh, we uh, use uh, this information for damage image. And uh, these are one of the crack with this measurement 
at each drift angle. So we need to evaluate not only the, the crack widths, but also the, how much the process or progress during the drift angle is increasing. As, com as we can see that the monotonic case is uh, very, very the, the scattering. However, the, some drift is uh, one of the, the limit to increase the crack widths. However, the precast component, this is uh, our target, is very initially the crack widths is going to up. So that means the, the we need to consider about not only the distribution, but also the width itself for the durability problem. This is a crack uh, width of the residual. And uh, this is also a different feature of the monotonic and the precast components. So uh, right now, this, these are only the results. So, uh, okay, I, I, the, these are the residual dis crack widths and uh, displacement transit. However, the, actually, the, we are not going to the design uh, the uh, application. So uh, right now, uh, we are going to the more how much the limit state can be seen in the each components and also how design the process on the, these components is used for the bridge column. Here is a concrete remarks. And also, uh, I would like to say this thank you very much for the committee members in JCI and JSPS, Japan Society for Promotion of Science, for the foundation of, for the support for our group, and also the Hanshin Expressway Foundation. This is one of the companies of the uh, highway uh, monitored and also the construction. Thank you very much for attention. Thank you. Excellent. And uh, any questions from the floor? Yes, please. I was curious, you talked about the comparison between monolithic and the pre-stress. Did you try different levels of pre-stress? Uh, yes, uh, the, the mod, uh, that is double for going pre-stressing force because of the, the this is a one of the limitation to decide uh, before the yielding even if that is going to the very large displacement control in the PC strand and also the, the influence of the pre-stressing force is going to the analytical model to evaluate more the parametric study from the four megapascal. This is a 10% uh, of the capacity of the compressive strength of concrete to the more the, the uh, one third, so 30% of the concrete. So we can uh, select it, the, the uh, limitation of the ultimate capacity of displacement, how much needed, then the, we uh, consider about how much processing force is applied because of the that is one of the targets to control the crack opening or crack initiation. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments from the floor? <laughs> is it okay? okay. Can I, can I yes, yeah, sure. sure. So uh, we have known that uh, the uh, pre-stressed pre concrete members have uh, almost sm uh, small uh, residual deformation, and uh, so the small, uh, much smaller uh, residual crack with us uh, compared with uh, the uh, uh, ordinary, ordinary reinforced concrete uh, members. So then, the what is the next step? So then, the what we should do after the uh, we get uh, these kind of results. Yes, this is uh, our the current the condition on the research, and uh, the, we need to consider about not only the the monosonic that is the uh, very uh, the com uh, component is uh, uh, one unit from the bottom of the footing to the column, but uh, we can see cons uh, model as uh, the, the kind of the rotation of the capacity for the deformation. So we are now is going to the how much the crack width is affect on the, the plastic hinge rotation, and that is going to the ultimate uh, deformation capacity. 
So we are now connecting from the, uh, the damage of the concrete and the level of pressure force and the uh, ultimate displacement capacity. This is uh, uh, very beyond to the uh, yielding of the reinforcement sometimes, but uh, we are setting for the how much limit is needed to consider. This is a, one of the de design to getting a uh, setting as uh, the safety factor of the, not only the capacity itself, but also the deformation. So right now, the damage condition is going to the design uh, rest field or uh, limit value for only the displacement. But uh, we didn't set any target of the, the, this kind of the value. So we are now connecting from the, this is a very small size specimen. So from the experimental uh, point of view to the analytical point of view, we are now next step doing the set for the design code, design value for this limitation. Thank you. I think we have more like time to for the question. For more time, okay. Do you see any like a size effect for the concrete by looking at the specimen? Uh, yeah, actually, there we do not the uh, did not do conduct the large size specimen. So I have no idea the the answer to you. However, the Damage is concentrated in the bottom in this case. So not only the surface on the, the lateral direction, but also the surface between the two component is also cover portion. So the, we can. This is very difficult to control the cover sporing during the uh, cycle of the loading. So for press, uh, Professor Priestley used uh, this kind of the jack steel jacket to cover by the. To reduce uh, this kind of uh, concentration of the, the damage or crack, but uh, we do not do this kind of the more difficult to the concentrate uh, difficult construction. So our target is the uh, this kind of the spalling, and also I think that these are very uh, few effect on the size because of the, the cover portion is a very similar from the small size experimental specimen to the large size. But uh, we also need to consider about the size uh, or the kind of the detail of the reinforcement layout or steel rainfall layout. Okay, thank you.